What's going on guys? Welcome back to the laboratory. Dr. Downstream here. Thank you for tuning in to another video or whatever this is. Uh, today I've been working on my little gas pump here and I'm trying to cheat the system. I know, I know, I should be paying like 1500 bucks for one of those, uh, what are the P40, P60 gas pumps. You know, you get like 15 gallons per hour at uh, 300 PSI or whatever it is. And here I am trying to cheat the system with a, a four roller pump. This pump right here is a Delavan stainless corrosive rated. It's uh, allegedly nine gallons per minute at 150 PSI. And I am desperately trying to evade and escape the 12 volt life, right? So uh, a quick overview. I'm running the Predator 212cc. It's a six and a half horsepower engine. Um, it's real simple. It's a direct connect. I think it's a three quarter inch to five eighths connection coupler that is behind that little shield right there. And then if you look online, these Delavan pumps are listed from anywhere from $350 to I got mine for $242. So, um, look around and, uh, you know, because apparently just the prices on these things don't make sense. Uh, anyways, so uh, today, <laughs> you know, I tried so hard. I've been working on this stupid thing all day. And I had a uh, PVC uh, manifold that I had directly connected to my pump. But the vibration... I don't, I don't really know. I can't tell if it cracked the PVC or if it was just blowing past the Teflon, but I wrapped the threads like six times. So I've never had anything blow past my threads wrapping Teflon six times. So I don't know if there's like a hairline crack or something. Anyways, so uh, I was testing it out today, 40 minutes in, and it started spurting out water on the pump connection. So um, I have a roof wash tomorrow that I have to get done. So right now I'm hooking up another 12 volt system uh just temporarily to uh to get that out of the way but um you know i have high hopes for this i was told by people who run these four roller systems apparently they're more often used in the uk than they are here in the us of a um but yeah they're supposed to get nine gallons a minute at 150 psi which is a decent upgrade from your seven gallon a minute fat boy right you'd think <sighs> you think um so today i was I, I had it running for oh 40 minutes or so before it developed its issue and i was getting an honest i would say an honest 40 feet of range out of this this bad boy don't know if it's a bad boy. I don't know if I should call it a bad boy. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it qualifies. I'm still working the bugs out. Um, anyways, uh, so um, I got the uh, the cement is curing on the second manifold. I think what happened was just the, it, the PVC being directly uh, connected there, and I had you know a pressure gauge and a bypass on this little manifold that I made. I just don't think that Schedule 40 PVC was up to the task. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming out of the pump with Schedule 80 to uh, one inch non-collapsible. And then I'm going to have my new manifold set up with the pressure gauge and the pressure relief valve. Underneath my setup here is... I'm sure you can see that perfectly. 10 feet of three quarter inch line coiled up, sent back to the pump inlet right there. Before the pump inlet, I have a check valve. That check valve in theory saves my mixer valve from being pressurized with 150 PSI, right? So. I was testing it out today. I could hit the peaks of this two-story just fine. There wasn't any issue with that. 
Um, it was probably clearing the roof by a good 10 feet, I would say. Um, and anyways, the point being is I'm trying to escape the 12 volt world, right? How do you do that? Well, you got to go gas pump like all the cool guys do. And I'm trying to be one of the cool guys here, I guess. Um, so, you know, it's a work in progress. I'm going to keep you guys updated when I get this thing up and running tomorrow because I twice two times in a row today I went to the hardware store and I got the wrong size fitting and I know you guys can feel my pain so instead of going back to the hardware store for a third time I'm just gonna hook up my 12 volt to get me by for tomorrow so I'm really hoping that in the future here very shortly I can report back that this thing is rocking out awesome um, it was cool because I was able to test it with a few different fittings. I tried my ladder saver on it. I tried my J-Rod setup, which of course it's, it's all rated for like five and a half gallons. I tried my M5 twist on it. Um, and I gotta say, I'm getting probably the most range out of my blue gun. I got a, I got a blue gun around here somewhere. See it under that pile of shit? That's junk. Sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, so stay tuned. And um, again, I'm trying to hack the system because if I can get away from the 12 volt and get into the gas pump world without having to spend a bazillion dollars, that's going to make me feel pretty smart here. A quick rundown. The Predator 212 ran me exactly $200. And then I got the extended warranty on it for 50 bucks, so I'm in for 250 on the engine. It seems to run perfectly. It's it's just it, it started up on the first pull, no complaints there. Um, the little shield right there was like 30 bucks. The shaft coupler was another 35 dollars, and the Delavan four roller pump was 242 dollars. And when I did this little project, I also ordered 200 feet of that Curatec 5 8 right there to replace the Flexilla that I had been running. So for this setup, I'm well under a $1,000. Um, and I'm, I'm just hoping that this works out. Um, information on running roller pumps for soft wash is very slim. I've looked everywhere on the internet and I can find very little information so if you happen to be watching this and you're somebody who who runs the four roller pumps and that's your life please comment down below tell me what i'm doing wrong here i i need help thanks for watching guys